All right, bitches. This is my room, AKA my practice space. Very groovy. Let's take a look at some of the fun things we've got in here. This bad boy is my lovely Ibanez AS100 from 1981, eight years before I was born. I call it Claire sometimes when I'm feeling saucy. My main guitar. Sometimes I use this, which is my brother's Godin guitar. I uh, mainly use it if I want to experiment with the whammy bar. The Ibanez doesn't have the capabilities of the whammy bar. Just gotta switch over whenever I want to fool around with that. And in the corner here, I don't know if you can see that, but we got a uh, classic nylon string guitar. Uh, earlier this summer I learned Yezu Joy of Man's Desiring. I've also written a couple pieces on that, just to, you know, keep the songwriting process fresh and interesting. This case back here is my dad's Fender Stratocaster, which I haven't played in a long time. And as you see, we got two amps. Bottom one, I use most of the time. It's got a nice warm sound to it. And then the top one has a uh, phone jack that actually works, so I use that whenever I need to use headphones. I think if my mom is watching a movie. And uh, this one's also good for practicing stuff with a lot of distortion, because that's got two easy switches to crank up the overdrive. This little doohickey is a uh, clip-on tuner. You can just clip it to the end of a guitar and then uh, use it to tune. Which is nice, because you don't have to unplug guitar from the amp in order to tune. It's pretty cool. It's called a Snark. I really like that name. And over here, I have my iPad, which I use to keep track of my practice hours. And also, this device doubles as a metronome. Picked up this bad boy. Uh, if you've never used Subdivide, you should definitely check it out, because there's a lot you can do with it. You can set it to different time signatures and tell which subdivisions you want to hear. Uh, so we got 3 2, and let's say we also want to hear triplets. Very saucy. Can't actually play that fast, but it's nice to have that capability. And yeah, sometimes I sit on that chair, sometimes I sit on this bed, sometimes I stand right there. Occasionally, I'll actually look in the mirror as I play to uh, see what my hands look like from the audience's perspective. It's a little trick that I picked up from Steve Vai in his interviews. And yeah, that's just about everything. Groovy.